If you run a child over, don't stop, keep driving. Let's check out Children of the Corn. Hi everyone and welcome to today's new video. So today I've had a package in the post and today I've had Children of the Corn delivered on a DVD. Now I got interested in wanting to check this film out from watching Carlino 9's unboxing of the new Arrow box set. It looks like an incredible cool box set and it's got me interested in checking out this movie. So put it on DVD to check it out. I'm Never seen the film, I've seen the trailer, it does look interesting. Is it going to be scary? I'm not sure. How many jump scares? I haven't a clue. It's rated 18. It's a Stephen King story. Let's check it out and see what I think of it. So I've just got through watching Children of the Corn. So what I'll do is I'll go through a very quick overview of the story and give you my thoughts and opinions and whether or not it's worth upgrading to the Blu-ray or not. So Children of the Corn is about this small village town where all the children in this town kill all the adults. And they do that so that they can have a good harvest. And the film follows two young adults. We've got Bert and Vicky, played by Peter Horton and Linda Hamilton from um, Terminator. And we follow them as they're going on a journey where, unfortunately, they accidentally run over a child. And... This is where their story sort of takes a turn and we see them wanting to try and get some help for the the kid and try and find some authority around the place. But this young lad who is sort of like the cult leader, he wants to get the these adults and sacrifice them and it's a bit of a, a chase throughout the whole movie really to find these people so that they can uh, sacrifice them and we have one lad who is pretty evil and uh, yeah he gets his uh, just desserts at the end of the film altogether I really did thoroughly enjoy it the it wasn't as scary as I was expecting. I think there was probably two or three jump scares. Probably the, the part where she, uh, Vicky is having a dream and the, the dead child sits up as like a zombie. And when they're creeping around the house trying to find who's in this house and they bump into each other. But uh, overall, it's a fun film. It's a really enjoyable movie. Not overly incredible with special effects. The special effects are okay. I don't think the budget for this film was too big. But the acting was pretty good. And uh, yeah, the special effects with the knife when the, when the lad cuts down Linda Hamilton's face. thought that was uh, pretty good. You know, well made. Uh, but uh, yeah, all the child actors in this film were pretty good. Uh, the pacing for the film is pretty good. Um didn't have any problems with it. It kept me entertained, uh, wanting to know uh, what, what was going to happen next. But uh, yeah, overall, a really good film. So, is this worth upgrading to the Blu-ray? Now, I would like to get the Arrow box set, but that's a lot of money. That's like £55, and I only want the first film out of it. There is a slasher Cult, is it Slasher Collection version, which is about £10. Is it worth getting that one? I think it is. I do, I do. I think it's it's worth upgrading this because the pitch quality on this was okay. There's nothing special. It's just DVD uh, standard. 
but uh, I imagine the Blu-ray in full 1080p would look a lot, lot better than this. So yes, I'm really glad that I picked it up on DVD to check out first, because I feel like maybe if I didn't enjoy it, then I would have felt like I'd wasted a lot of money, and I don't feel like I've wasted any money on this. I feel like uh, I've made the right decision, and uh, really enjoyed this Stephen King story. So my rating for this movie, I think, what shall I give Children of the Corn? I think I'll give Children of the Corn a 8 out of 10. So yes, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I definitely want to re-watch this. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. So I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, then please give the video some big thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more from me. And as always, until next time, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.